We get lots of people reaching out that are moving across the country and world. With that huge move comes a process and in this video, I wanna break down from A to Z exactly that process is in 2024. Before we get to the list, you can skip all these steps and just contact us as we are a top relocation team and have helped many people in your shoes. All you have to do is give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email and we will walk you through the entire process. It is so important to know the steps no matter what, so make sure you watch this video and circle back to it at any point. Step number one, decide on the location you want to live at. If it is Iowa, great, or if you're looking at other states, narrowing down to one location will take a lot of the stress off your shoulders. Now let's say you are 100% committed on Iowa being your home state. Now you need to find out what area of Iowa or any other state you like the most in the state. We have lots of content going over Iowa, but narrowing down the location in the state will be beneficial to you. Dubuque, for example, has its pros and cons for Cedar Rapids or Des Moines. Also, rural Iowa has its pros and cons versus living in Iowa's larger cities. Narrowing down as much as you can will really help you bring your clarity you need. You can't replace traveling to the locations on the top of your list to narrow it down even further. Step number two, set up a time frame. So you have the location where you want or are down to a few locations. Now it's time to go over your situation. You may have a home to sell. You may have a lease you need to wait on. You may be month to month on your lease. Figuring out when you want to be in the area you choose is going to help you bring more clarity to you as well. This will help you if you need to sell your home to move, if you need to try to get out of the lease or fulfill your lease, then move. Having a time frame really helps. Step number three, figure out if you're going to go represented by an agent or go unrepresented on buying a home. Using someone like myself to represent you is what most people moving from one state to another choose to do, but you can go unrepresented. One option I do not think is the best is to go straight to listing agents as they have the duty to get the seller the most amount of money and not any duty to help you. Real estate can be a dirty business and you don't want something to be missed. I would highly recommend contacting a buyer's agent to ensure you get the best representation for yourselves, especially if you're not highly familiar with the market you decide to move to. If you want representation, reach out to us or find a realtor you can 100% trust. Interview multiple agents if you don't have a great feeling about your agent. If you are going unrepresented, try to educate yourself on the process so you don't get taken advantage of. Step number four, find a listing agent for your home you have to sell or come up with a game plan on selling your home if you choose to do it yourself. This isn't applicable to everyone so I'll keep this short, but again, make sure to interview agents if you don't have a trusted one recommended to you or a past agent. I have clients that are going to be moving from South Carolina and they did a great job with this. They interviewed multiple agents and found one they are 100% confident in. It is so important you have an agent you can trust and communicate with effectively. Step number five, find out all the expenses of moving. If you are moving across the country or world, you will have to account for any and all expenses. Most hire a moving company and that can be really expensive. You need to know this before looking at homes. Next on the list is gonna be a lender, but you'll get more idea for closing costs and down payment with that. You will also have to account for inspections and earnest money as well. Although, when you close, the earnest money will be credited back to you. Typically, the expenses are hiring a moving company, closing costs, down payment, inspections, and earnest money. Another expense that should already be done is traveling to the location you choose. As to us, it is a must to check out the area before moving there. Step number six, get in contact with a lender or if paying cash, get to know your price point you can buy at. Some people start to look at homes before getting pre-approved and it isn't a bad thing to get familiar with the area, but part of that would be finding the location you love in step one. 
What I mean by this is you need to get your lending set up before seeing homes. The last thing you want is to find your dream home that is not replaceable in the dream location you choose and not have your ducks in a row and lose the home. This is why it is a much better decision to get the pre-approval that way if any home comes across, you are prepared and have the best possible chance on moving on it. We are giving you quite the blueprint. The least you can do is like the video and leave in the comment section your biggest takeaway from this video. Also, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you are notified each week we come out with a new video. Step number seven, start looking at homes through searches from your realtor, third party sites, etc., etc. This is the fun part. You now know your location, you know your time frame, you found your representation or have a plan in place, you know the plan with your current living situation, you know the expenses you will have, you are pre approved or have your budget in mind and now you are ready to start looking at homes. See how much clearer you are if you attack homes with a process in place. This is why it is so vital to find the right agent or agents like us at the Living in Iowa team. Again, just reach out by calling, texting, or send us an email and we would love to help you like many others move to the great state of Iowa. Step number eight, set up showings on the homes you are interested in. It is easy if you have an agent as you can just send them the property and they can show the home for you either virtually or however you decide. We have a hack that we do with our clients that makes it so simple and allows you to see the home whenever you want and relook at the home. But in order to get that VIP treatment, you will need to contact us. If you decide to go at it alone, you're going to have a hard time because how are you going to see it virtually if you don't have an agent? Are you planning on coming to town and picking a home that is on the market at that exact moment in time? Are you going to go straight to the listing agent and expect them to show the home when it works for you? It doesn't mean you're wrong or right, but just the reality of being able to see homes. Step number nine, writing an offer. Now you found a home that you love and want it badly. It is time to write an offer. I won't go into detail as this video is explaining the process of buying a home in Iowa, but not necessarily writing an offer. Long story short, offers have so many variables that I can't possibly go over all of them, but you need to know the contingencies, disclosures the seller needs to provide you, and what inspections you want or need for the home. Do you want a home warranty? Do you want closing costs covered? Are there other offers that will affect your offer? Is the structure fine? What's the age of the water heater, air conditioning, furnace, roof, etc., etc. At the end of the day, writing offers seems easy on the surface, but protecting yourself when writing an offer takes experience. Step 10, you are under contract. Next, you need to schedule what is needed like inspections, home warranties, appraisal, any walkthroughs you want, pay earnest money, get insurance set up, figure out utilities, make sure you know what is supposed to stay and not stay, although you should know this before you put in an offer. But you need to make sure the seller leaves it all as well. Schedule final walkthrough, make sure you fulfill your financing contingency date and get everyone to sign off on it. Request inspection remedies and negotiate them and on and on and on. There's tons of things. If you are working with us, you don't have to remember really anything on this list, but this video is meant to help you no matter if you use us or not. If you're watching this, we also did a video on Iowa Lifestyle Revealed. Make sure to watch that after this video if you are considering Iowa as a place to call home. Step number 11, close on your home and move in. At this time, the emotions are everywhere and hopefully excitement is the biggest emotion you have. Step 10 should set you up for a successful closing that is more stress-free, but if you forget any of the steps on step nine, you can have a very stressful time leading up to closing. This is why you need to make sure you are on top of it and or have a realtor who makes sure all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed.